My name is Reza Alam. I'm an assistant professor of mechanical engineering. And one of the projects that we are interested in is how to transform ocean wave power into usable energy that we can use in our cities and daily lives. It's been known that muddy sea floors can uh, take out a huge amount of energy from ocean waves above them. Mud basically moves up and down under the action of the waves and small scale motion called turbulence occurs within the mud layer and that converts the wave energy into heat. Our idea was to design a, a carpet that sits on a seafloor and acts like a mud layer and extract energy from ocean waves and convert it into useful energy. Well, this is our latest design. We replaced the uh, um, two pumps by one double acting cylinder. Um, the, the advantage of the double acting cylinder is less friction and more power output. So how the system works is that um, the waves run over the carpet and then um, while running over the carpet, the carpet will adopt the wave motion. So in both motions, up and down, we generate hydraulic pressure that's fed into one discharge pipe and this discharge pipe then brings hydraulic pressure onshore and onshore we can convert this um, hydraulic pressure into electricity or fresh water. So tell me when it's finished. Mm -hmm. There are two values we're interested in the experiment. The first one is how much energy of the wave is actually absorbed by the carpet. And then the second value we measured is how much flow for a certain amount of time came out of the system. Ten seconds. Stop. Wave energy is a very dense form of energy and what it means is that we can get a huge amount of energy from a very small area. To give you a comparison, the amount of energy that we can get from 10 meters of California coast is larger than the amount of energy that we can get from an entire soccer field if we cover it with solar panels. We've calculated that every square meter of the carpet, if designed carefully, can provide power to two households. Our wave tank experiment has been very successful and now we are preparing for the actual ocean test that has been scheduled for 2016. And we're hoping within the next 10 years, the wave carpet is in the ocean and generating commercial power. And that's gonna be a very exciting moment for us.